Hi Georgie B back again. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using the stamp set Honey Bee Home and I'll be using this um, stamp. These two bees, that's it off of there. The dies, I, I've got this one for the flower and the two bee dies and I've also cut out two bits of grass. Sentiments coming from Friendly Hello. I hope you have the best birthday. Um, card stop. Eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. Scored at four and one eighth. Folded in half. I think we'll give it a burnish because I know I never done it. I have a piece of Whisper White. Five and five eighths by three and seven eighths for the inside. A piece of smoky slate at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. And a piece of um, DSP, which was in the celebration catalogue. So if you put an order in for £45 or more, you can get this. Uh, paper it is called simply marvelous and it's just marble paper oh, both a dark and then a paler one on top which is really pretty paper and then I've got this piece of paper which is out the pansy uh, pack and this is two and a quarter two and one eighth by four and one eighth and it will just sit there right now I have stamped off two of these flowers we do need three and like I said I've cut the greenery out already so we need to do another flower, the bees and the sentiment. So let's get started. This is the flower. One beat and two bees. Not worry about the over stamping because they are going to be cut out. All right. Now, the sentiment. Side. This one we're going to colour in, and we've got Daffodil Delight, Dark Granny Apple Green, and Poppy Parade. And we're just going to colour in all the flowers with the Poppy Parade. Nothing spectacular, just
think I've said on another video, I don't like this flower that I'm colouring in now because it's just the back of the flower and it just looks a blob when it's coloured in. <coughs> now then, Granny Apple Green I'm going to do all the stem bits as well that are holding in the flower and the leaves. Right, that one done, and then with the yellow, I'm colouring in all the bumblebee. get my black and darken up the lines around it also with soft sea foam Mint macaron, soft sea foam, just colouring the wings. And that's our colouring done. And now we just got to cut these out. So, the best way I found out of lining up these, um, this die, is to make sure your stem is right in the middle. And hopefully it will cut out quite nice. actually get these all on in one go. This is um, painters, delicate painters tape by the way that I'm using here to hold the dies on. I was looking for the green stuff that the Americans use on Amazon and the only thing I could find was this so I decided to get some and it works Lost one of my beads. Bees. Where's that gone? 
There's that. Oh, I can't pick it up. There we are. Right, let's put these dies away. Don't want to lose them. Right, chop this off. Scissors, we shall flag the end. Do you know what? I've got the punch that does this, and I keep forgetting about it. I think I say it every time I do this. Right, that's all our bits done. Now we have to put our card again together. Look at this colour. This marble effect on this side. Quite pretty. But I want the paler side. this up. And then glue this bit on. I've still got quite a bit of this paper left over. hardly use the stamp set actually. Right, now what did I do? I got this one, glued that one there, and then I glued, I glued that like that and that like that. And so that that's what I did. So I'm going to put some glue there and and glue there. And then we're going to pop it up on dimensionals.
that like that and then these crossy bits I just glued in fact I actually stuck these down first but never mind where's the other one And this just sits there like that so I need I'll just use some little ones because my big ones have run out could have used the surround Brain's not working like that today. Yeah. Right, these two bees are going on dimensionals. And this one is going to go up here. And this one is just going to hover here. Inside, what did I do inside? Oh, just my normal boring sentiment. I am going to find another one, I think, to put inside. There we have it. Two beautiful cards from the stamp set Honey Bee Home. I hope you like them. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload. Usually Monday and a Friday for now. All I can say is thanks for watching. I hope to see you again soon.